Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today MQTT Mosquito Broker Part 1. So I will show you most basic installation and setup of Mosquito Broker on Ubuntu server. Basically you can use any, any hardware for it. You can use an old desktop, or laptop or Raspberry Pi, any of the Raspberry Pis. Uh, if you're using Raspberry Pi W, then basically you can connect via Wi-Fi, but I would recommend to get a hub with Ethernet port on it, so you can hardwire to your to your network. Uh, any different hardware like Banana Pi or anything like that should be okay. So basically, I installed my one on my Proxmos virtual machine, so. I got pre-installed, it's up and running. Uh, if you haven't got installed, then basically you need to get the hardware and install it. It's a lot of tutorial out there on YouTube and you shouldn't have problem with it. So once you get installed, <coughs> first thing, what we need to do, we need to log into our server via SSH. I will be using command prompt. You can use PuTTY, but it's up to you. I prefer command prompt. So let me log in. So first what we need to do is performance system perform system update. I ins when I install it, I already done my update, so it doesn't need any. But you always should do this. So next, we can install the mosquito. Then go to mosquito config file. Add two lines. So okay, what these two lines means? Basically, allow anonymous. True. So we we're gonna be able to log in uh, to connect to our broker without the password. The line listener one one two two means it will be able to will be using port eleven twenty two for connection. And this is basically most basic configuration. If you're using this this broker on your local network, it shouldn't be a problem. So. Just make sure you don't open any ports on your firewall. I remember years ago when I installed first my first one, I it wasn't working first, and then I look into uh, into forums, and some guys propose to open the ports because you need to open the ports or enable UFW. No, you don't need to do anything else. If you're running it on your local network. On your lab network, you don't need to do anything else. Save. Then, once you save it, you need to restart the service. And then you can check the status. is active and running so once I go to node red it should be already connected and there you go I think this is enough for this video also again just to make you aware this is very basic installation is not secure installation 
So it's okay if you use this kind of setup on your local network to communicate between your devices on your local network, like for home assistant or something like that. But make sure don't open the ports because it's not secure for outside of your local network communication. Uh, why is not secure? Please watch my next video where I show you why you shouldn't be using this kind of configuration on your outside of your network. And basically, thank you for watching and see you in next video.